Okay, it's an interesting day at the beach. Partly cloudy, partly sunny. Beautiful, kind of calm. And uh, it's funny, someone asked me if I'd do a TED Talk. And uh, they got thinking about it. You know, I'd love to do it. Anybody out there want to nominate me for a TED Talk right ahead? Because I probably started something like this. Hi right there. Who among you would like a free stem cell infusion? For free. Seriously. Full body, full system. And who out there eats or drinks while they sleep? These two things might not be seemingly connected, but they are. And that's kind of how I'd get into it. We'll talk about what filling off sound about 30 years ago. We found that after day seven, your stem cell population drops, but during recovery, it triples. Why? And for months afterwards, you get a regeneration for months afterwards. He says 15 to 25 years extension in life due to the stem cell activation. And we know why. Because when stem cells go into replication, after day three of a dry fast, you end up going from a stem cell to a daughter cell to a transit amplifying cell. And what's been found out is these transit amplifying cell phases, they just keep duplicating and duplicating and duplicating and duplicating days. And every day you force a stem cell to produce a daughter cell, to produce a trans transit amplifying cell, you get tons and tons of stem cells. And that's the cool thing about dry fasting. It doesn't happen with water fasting. Because water fasting, you're still activating digestive systems with water. You never turn off PKA. Your gluconeogenesis kicks in. You start grinding down proteins like muscle protein, and organ proteins into sugars, which activates the insulin, which activates the PKA. So you never turn the switch off. Because that's the switch. You've got to turn PKA down to almost zero to activate your stem cells for replication. It can also happen during major injuries and trauma and things like that, like a huge scar or even a paper cut. But for the most part, you've got to have a hormetic stress. Start dry fasting is hormetic stress. So it's really pretty easy. All you got to do is not eat or not drink, at least for three to five days. Preferably seven for all the other benefits, which I'll talk about tomorrow and the days afterwards. But that's really it. If you want a free stem cell infusion that costs about $25,000 per infusion, you have to travel outside the country, play for air, airfare and hotels and all that stuff. And you just not eat or drink for seven days. You get a whole body infusion. Because what happens is a lot of these stem cells that end up replicating, not necessarily the new cells on day three. Mu cells are really different. They're pluripotent. They become all three germ lines. But just your regular stem cells. There's 220 niches, 220 types of stem cells to repair all the organs because of that. And then what you have is somatic cell replacement and, res and residing stem cells that pump out these paracrine signals that make your body act like it's still young and makes adjacent cells act younger again. So there's my video about this thing. The biggest thing about dry fasting is you turn off PKA, you turn on your stem cells, and you get a free stem cell infusion. <laughs> I dare you to do that with any other methodology. Intermittent fasting, one day fasting, whatever fasting, none of that crap works. You really want to have youth and a radically extended lifespan. Read my book, Phoenix Protocol. Talks all about it, shows you how to do it. It's a wonderful thing. And it's easy, it's an easy read. I make sure I have all the reference materials to back up all the things that I found out about this stuff. In a way, in a language, in a way to describe it, where you can get it, because you really should get it. These are the secrets, the secrets you were never told about. And quite frankly, you're probably kept from learning about. You should bet your ass if you'll eat know about this stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow, and have a great day. See ya.